Hey guys, it's me, Seren, back with another video. Someone said before that uh, they want to see a video of me with an updo. So, it's up. I don't know if it's an updo, but it's up for whoever requested that. Um, this is going to be a quick little video about the importance of digital safe spaces and really the part that digital spaces play in keeping your mind strong. Um, and really this video was inspired by this exchange that I had on Instagram. It was a really, really, really nice exchange. Um, let me open it so I could tell you the names. So, Cannell, who's one of my uh, Instagram followers and I'm guessing YouTube subscribers, so hi. Um, she bought a copy of my book, so thank you so much. And she posted it with um, a haul from Ashley's Naturals which is a company that I love, love, love. Um, I have done a Black Friday video. I just haven't uploaded it yet, but I have um, ordered stuff from them and done an unboxing, so you can be on the lookout for that because it will be coming soon. Um, and she said, like, you know, I got good grades, so I decided to treat myself. Um, I bought a copy of Seren Sensei's book, and I bought some Ashley's Naturals. And Ashley left a comment like, oh, thank you so much. It's, like, so cool that you, like, you know, you ordered my stuff. And I left a comment like, oh, like, thank you for supporting me and getting the book. And then I said, like, oh, and I can, like, vouch also for Ashley's Naturals products because those products are, excuse me, the shit. And I love those products. And I kind of just came away from the whole exchange like, man, that was so cool. Like, that was just so cool. Like three black girls kind of like coming together and having this really fun you know dialogue this exchange and you know talking about these products because like i've tried these products and you got my book you know really just an ex just an exchange it felt like an exchange of energy i don't know if you guys like kind of get what i mean but whatever it felt like an exchange of energy and it felt really really good and it just got me to thinking about digital spaces and mental health <laughs> because I feel like Instagram is like my safe space Instagram and really tumblr like I love YouTube YouTube's like my home um but sometimes YouTube can be a little exhausting especially with modern I you know you guys know I I moderate comments and Twitter can be just a toxic cesspool of nastiness sometimes and for me whenever I start to feel down nine times out of ten I log on Instagram I love Instagram. Instagram is just like my no, my no fly zone, my no bullshit zone. I go on Instagram, I scroll through my Instagram feed, I look at all these like beautiful black, you know, brown faces and all these amazing black owned businesses. I said on Twitter that Instagram is the Diagon Alley of fucking black owned businesses because everybody has an Instagram page. Like you want to find a black owned business, make an Instagram account and you will be buying everything black owned. So I get on Instagram and I just like see all these like beautiful black faces and I see these businesses and I see these people doing all these great things and I just feel so inspired and empowered and that's really important to have that. I personally have all black digital spaces and that was actually a part of my, you know, waking up, my awakening, my becoming woke, becoming conscious. And that actually happened with Tumblr because Tumblr was my only social media for a really long time. And I was following these people on Tumblr just because I had an aesthetic that I liked. And I realized one day, now this was like pre-Ferguson, you know, pre, you know, pretty much everything that we see going on right now. So this is maybe two or three years ago. I realized that like, man, I'm following a lot of white people. And I'm following them because there's a certain aesthetic that I like. I like to see certain spaces arranged certain ways. Um, I'm a minimalist. I like like minimal shit. And but then I was like, man, where are the black people doing this? I know there's black people out there that's doing this. And the Tumblr post that like really inspired me to just like go all in with like black shit was I was following um I think it's called Kinfolk. Kinfolk which is ran by this white girl in Virginia and she has this like special where she highlights um local businesses in Virginia and I was just like I'm from DC I know for a fact that there are black people doing this type of thing in Virginia she never ever ever had black people on her blog ever and I was just like I know that there are black people doing this kind of thing in Virginia like I know for a fact 
And I was just like, you know what? I'm tired of this. I'm tired of every single time I log onto my Tumblr account feeling I feel small because all I see are these like white faces. So I unfollowed everyone and I Googled like black aesthetics or something like that and street etiquette popped up. I don't know how many of you guys are familiar with street etiquette, but I will of course include links in the description box so you can check them out. Street etiquette is just these like awesome dudes. Their their brand and their whole thing that they're doing has like really like grown beyond when I first started following them on Tumblr. Um they have like a clothing line out and they've been doing lots and lots of of, of like branding work with like companies and cuz they have a very nice aesthetic of these two black guys. And like street etiquette popped up and I followed them and they were the first like black like aesthetic blog that I followed on Tumblr. And then it just like kept going and going and going from there. Until the point where now like that's really you know all that I follow is like current event blogs and fandom blogs because I'm really into fandom. Um, and aesthetic blogs and stuff like that. But when I log on Tumblr I see black faces, I see brown faces doing things that I like and that interest me. And it's the same thing when I get on Instagram. And it's the same thing when I get on YouTube and I watch lifestyle bloggers. I like to watch makeup tutorials, so I watch black makeup artists. I like to watch, you know, um, lifestyle bloggers and lifestyle blogs and like daily vlog videos and things like that. So I watch black lifestyle bloggers. Like, and, it, and it's just, it, it really, I really notice a difference in when you start I don't want to say monitoring because it's really not even like a conscious monitoring, but when you kind of tweak your, your digital intake and your digital spaces so that you're not constantly being fed this stream of these like white faces and this white imagery all the time, it really makes a difference in your mind because you internalize all of that stuff. You really internalize all that stuff that you see. And like I said, I used to get on Tumblr and I would get off and I would feel small. And now I feel big. I feel like I can do anything because I see all these other people that look like me doing it. So why can't I do it? You know, representation matters. Like people always say, representation matters. Being able to see yourself represented matters. And when you're constantly in these digital spaces, surrounded by these people and these faces that don't look like you, it really gets into your head and kind of give, gives you this like underlying, you know, subconscious feeling of, that you ain't shit, you know, and you're and you're mentally unsound, you know. It undermines things that you want to do, and it undermines your thoughts because you're like, well, maybe I can't, you know. So I just think, you know, we should really be cognizant and aware of of the things that we're consuming and the media that we're consuming, and you can control your digital spaces. So I feel like all black safe safe digital spaces are really 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 important because like I said you really start to notice and you're interacting with people like my interaction on Instagram and you start getting you just start getting these really good strong feelings and feeling empowered and getting this kind of this mental clarity and you know feeling mentally strong you feel mentally strong and when you start feeling sad and when you start feeling defeated when you start feeling hurt you can like get a little bit more strength from you know these safe spaces and I think it's really important especially in you know today this day and age where everything's online and you know everything's digital to have that um and a lot and people have asked me like you know how do I remain focused or keep my clarity or remain strong and I feel like that's a big 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 part of it is that I'm surrounded by this you know even from people that don't know me that I don't know that I've never interacted with but just from seeing them you know, constantly getting these like strong, empowering images, they empower me and they make me mentally strong. And that's really important, really important. Um, so I just wanted to make this video about that. Uh, hopefully everybody is doing good, doing well out there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you um, want me to recommend some blogs, some Tumblr, some Instagram, some YouTubes, um, let me know in the comments and I'll or I'll, or I'll put some stuff in the description box. Um, I also have some playlists that I use. Um, so if you guys are like black lifestyle bloggers and stuff like that. So if you guys are interested in that kind of thing, I could also, they're private right now, obviously, but I can make them some of them public if you guys are interested in that. Uh, let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, be mentally strong. You know, it's, it helps. It helps. It really helps. Like I said, even even if you never talk to these people, even just 
seeing them you know I kind of talked about this a little bit in my um, video on you know um, Kendra Moore and and how I don't subscribe to any bullshit about black men and black women you know you can follow blogs and tumblers that are dedicated exclusively to black love and see like man there's a lot of you know black couples still out there you know so then when someone says something it's almost like you're not following the right people you know like we can really control a lot of our intake and what we consume so don't fill your mind with shit because it makes your mind weak um so yeah food for thought as always let me know what you guys think in the description in the description box in the comment section see you guys next time peace